Brain Fables is the story of important diseases of brain aging, compelling, beautiful, logical, yet biologically fictional. It's about the stories that have been told about the brain and brain diseases, and how a lot of those stories are based on a narrative that has misguided our attempts to properly analyze these diseases and develop therapeutic remedies for them. So my journey to writing Brain Fables started about seven years ago. I was diagnosed with Parkinson's, um, and soon after, I started to really delve into the research. I developed the skills needed to not only be able to figure out what the medical science was saying, but to be able to talk with a lot of these researchers and doctors and a lot of the leaders in the field. If the Ben was looking at the many different places that were doing research on Parkinson's and wanted to interview me. And in that process, we came to learn that we were both highly skeptical of the type of information that we were collecting. Me and Dr. Espe, back in January of 2019, we started to correspond with one another. And we started to realize that we had a lot of shared beliefs about some of the things that we saw that was wrong in the field. Um, and as our correspondence grew, it grew into this book. This book came to be as a result of the idea that we have talked about for many years, that there isn't really a Parkinson's disease, but many diseases. And yet, we have continued to do research on Parkinson's disease and have accumulated tremendous knowledge on Parkinson's the disease, but not the set of abnormalities that afflict individuals one from the other. We both hope that by writing this book, we can inspire the public to not only learn a little bit more about some of the challenges we face, but to understand the pressing need that there is to have better therapies and to have a new approach to how we're going to solve this disease. We need a lot of help from the public at large to look at what we're doing and to ask us difficult questions. And in fact, to question why is it that we have continued to do the same approach time and again for every biomarker development program as well as clinical trials of molecules with the promise of slowing disease progression. We have been changing the molecules, but not the approach. I'm pretty convinced that if we keep doing the things that we've been doing up until now, we're never going to get any great answers. We're never going to get the therapies that a lot of patients need. Um, so this book is very much a call to action for us to change the direction that we, of research that we've been doing. The only way to change is to get us all galvanized by the stories that Brain Fables summarizes and uh, ultimately puts into a perspective to make us think of what we need to do to change the way in which we're approaching these diseases and bring on both tests for them and importantly treatments for those that are identifiable biologically. <laughs>